When I did the render, it just didn't work. I just got uh, this message, XMP failure, something like that. Let me show you. So if you have that problem right now, you should look at this video because I probably got the solution for you. So I had a pretty rough weekend. I think I fell asleep around 5 in the morning or something like that and my sleep is still a little bit feel jet lagged. And I do not want you to be jet lagged. I don't want you to do this stupid video that I posted on YouTube for a couple of days ago. I don't, I don't like this this shouldn't be you. The rendering just I all day it's <sighs> So how did I solve this problem? Actually, I got help from two friends. You need friends in this world and right now I'm your friend. Um, the thing is, I do not know exactly how I solved this because I had two solutions. So it was probably, you know, one of those solutions or both of them. M maybe it was a couple of things I changed. Let let let's look at it and uh, use what you need to use from it. I'm at the computer right now and let's check this out. This is a th thread that I got sent to me. And um, as you can see here, file important importer detected an inconsistency. And that's, uh, that is that XMP has been disabled. So uh, I went straight to the answer. Too little free space on my hard disk, hard disk, hard drive, problem solved. So, um, yeah, and then I felt a little bit stupid because of course, if you, if I got too, if, if I don't got the space in the hard drive, then it's really hard for the software to save a file, right? And it turned out that I did not have a lot of space. So I tried it. I. Uh, moved a couple of projects to another uh, hard drive. But that was not the only thing I did. I also did another thing because I got a tip from another friend. Check this out, what I did in Premiere. So, uh, if, you, if it works, file uh, and uh, project settings in general. Here, uh, under the video rendering and playback, uh, I chose, I switched from um, engine software only to engine GP, U acceleration CUDA uh, that is what I changed and uh, that seems to help a lot and then in the um, export file export media uh, let's see here let's do like that I think I've actually XMP3 something like that um, then I had, uh, yeah, this one was wrong for me before. I think I, I don't think I can choose hardware encoding uh, when I don't have the CUDA, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, I used hardware encoding, which was weird. It was probably one of the reasons why my rendering took so long here. I should use software encoding. Um, and I think that rhymes with the whole CUDA thing. Uh, and one thing that is super important, because when I did this render that didn't work, it just became a small, like, small, small file instead of a big video file. I tried this um, via better one pass, and I usually never do that. So that was actually a change that I've done. If something works, you don't need to change it, but I'm so, uh, I need to try everything, so. Yeah, and I forgot, so you know that messed me up. So uh, choose VBR to pass when it comes to the bitrate settings. Uh, and then um, let's see here, did I choose anything? Yeah, uh, I had some clips there. And press Q, and then we come to the media encoder, right? And let's see here at the bottom, you can press this button. I have it in Swedish, I don't know what it is in English uh, there, but it's down in the right corner. And you should have CUDA here as well, right? So it's the same uh, setting through the whole process. Uh, <laughs> free your hard drive and uh, oh, give space on your hard drive. I can't speak right now. And um, do this CUDA settings and, and to pass uh, in the 
bitrate settings when you're doing the rendering and, and here you put it in queued as well and then when you press play here it's fast look at that that is fast for me it's fast trust me it's fast and i um when i compared the new rendering that i did to the, the to the reaction video that, that i did by, by the other day it went six times faster. I rendered that in like 30 minutes or something like that. And before it was around three to four hours. <laughs> so this is incredible. And I hope if you had these problems of you and you had the wrong settings, like I obviously had for a long time, probably, then this will help you a lot. And I mean, this, yeah, stop that. This changes everything basically for me. I can produce more and faster and I can be more effective. And then hopefully you can. And this is a miracle. Basically, do you see how fast that goes? It's a yellow line and it goes fast. That is not normal. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, comment, share. And make sure to look uh, at this website here, thrivebeyondclothing.com. It's my own brand and it's basically about loving yourself, dream big and elevate others. Remember that please as well. Check it out at least. I wish you the best and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon again. All right, have a great day, night, something like that. And those threads, those links that I just showed you, uh, of course I will link them in the description where others had the same problem and they found the solution. So if you felt like everything is not in the video, you can see the links. And Victor and Adnan, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much.